Hey everybody, this is Stanley, aka Dream Sword, and here we are trying to get back to the castle, and holy crap, there's a gargoyle, why is there a gargoyle here? Oh, so threatening, it's just going to respawn many, many times. That's the fun, funny thing about this area, actually, is that these gargoyles don't respawn. So they're less threatening. Yep. So yeah, we're actually not going to head back to the castle, we have to head deep underground. Uh, I mean, I imagine we're just going to drag Armini's corpse there. Just put her inside of Al. <laughs> we, you know, we really could do that. It, they've done that in the show. Right. It was weird. But no, instead we transmute this lump of dirt for her to hide in. I'm not kidding, that's what they made. You make a little so. dog house. <laughs> yep. Yeah. So, let's gear up. Yet again, lightning is a useful element in this area, because of the gargoyles. And we have a bunch of new toys to transmute, too. For example, better Ed clones. How are they, they have better? more HP. Oh. And nothing can really stand up to us right now. I wonder if you can also put an element on an ad co uh, on an ad clone. You cannot. That would be they funny if you could, but you can. the draw uh, like the, the main draw of it all would be they still do nothing. No they just receive damage, but are fire elemental. Use that. <laughs> just a burning head. Not even that, they're just, like, if, if, if you were to somehow check their stats, they would be fire elemental. Yes. And now we can finally get a sword for Alphonse, but first, hey, look, another new thing we can transmute. It's a spiky ball. It's the upgraded version of the cannonball thing we could push around. It does Aww. nothing. Okay, well. It's too bad they give you that ball when every enemy around here is flying. Well, almost. Right. Treasure. Tiny treasure chest. Okay. And we get these again. Which, yes, you can still put elements on them, but I'm really not sure why you would do that. I mean, they already have a mole hog. Yeah. How much, how much more metal can you get? And we now have level 2 crossbow bolts. I'll take it. I said, there you go. So well, he's taking care of everybody. Now you fired like three shots. Whatever. I guess he just got confused. Thank you. Don't you have like already 99 of those? Thank you. Yes, but you can always have more. Anyway, here's some new stuff. Can, can you? Oil can. What does this do? Well, if you hit it, it spreads oil everywhere, which will not only slow whoever steps on it, but you can also light it on fire <laughs> to damage people. <laughs> that was hilarious. This and now we also have level 2 cannons. Ow, okay. Here we go. I'll sit there diligently waiting. Just for anybody, really. And nobody's around. Okay. Sure. Why he's not? just he's just like a kid waiting with a, a birthday surprise and nobody's coming. Alright. Thank you! Ow! Okay. Maybe this will help out. Okay, we go. And to draw some enemies to him. And yes, we can still make boomerangs and all that stuff, but we don't really need to. And this oh. we can enchant with fire, oh. if I were closer to it. Let's try that again. It, it's good to know that you can actually move them. Yeah. There, see? Now it's a fiery ball of death. It's still gonna do nothing. Pretty much. It, it'll just look nice. Yeah. And we can't jump in the water. I'm not sure what Al's staring at, but, you know, he, 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 can, he can do what he wants. Ow! Okay. Now then. Alright, Al. Man this. 
Build on the power of this cannonball. Here we go. Oh god, so ma so many, so oh, many Ed clones, and they're all walking in. No problem. They're all the same way. Into group. Like a flash mob. Gotcha. Like the best thing would be if they were walking like in a perfect uh, horizontal line. Like they were, uh, like like there were a whole bunch of uh, single ladies going and shopping. I'll check this shit out. Or not? I'm, I was thinking of a later part when I have the man with crossbow. Hmm. But and we can turn these into grenades. Do the like uh. Mm hmm. Do the Lexus cap at 99, or can you have? Yes, they do. Uh -huh. they, they 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 cap. It's just that you can keep checking them out. <clears throat> so, this is a dead end. Yeah, you don't just go in a straight line here. You have to actually go down that tunnel over there, which is why we're going north. Holy crap, a crab! Oh my god, it's one of the bosses! Jesus Christ, what am I gonna do? Holy shit, this is gonna be tough. Oh god, keep attacking! Keep going, holy shit! Go, 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 go! Dead. Yeah, this thing's actually not all that threatening. Um, by the way, what the... Oh! So that number underneath is... No, I, I don't know what it is. Oh! That is durability of your weapon? Yes. Ah, that makes sense. So. so, yeah, they will start dropping giant enemy crabs on you, and really, you can just unlock them to death. It's pretty easy. And no, it's not just solely due to lightning elements that I'm able to do that, because later on the lightning element runs out, and I can still do it. So. That said, these are good for getting your combo rating up. <laughs> With herbs. Those are to cure the stuff where you can't equip your weapons. That status ailment. Oh. Um, you know, that the will the beast like to throw on you. Oh, yeah, that. Ow, okay. Could have gotten more of those. Look at you. And Al's just kind of watching. Oh, no, you have four, four little Al's there. I see. Well, soon to be four. Well, I mean, you have slots for four owls. Yeah. Alright, so now we're in the garden. Uh. As much as I would love to make the Poco, this is actually not a good place for it because it's all flying enemies. You mean you can just use the pogo sticks in order to jump on their head and then jump from one to another? Sadly, no. I think this is the part where I get to show off the crossbow prowess. Yeah, it is. Look at this shit. Oh, wow. This is a <laughs> Panzer Dragoon. God damn, you're a good shot. Jesus. He's amazing. Anyway, this is these are the this is also where you start getting loincloth equipped, which are unique to Alphonse. Most of them suck. What do they do? I will show that off later. See, Bogo. But this is not the place for Sad to say. Anyway. Ah, uh, you're. Uh, that's why you put it that way. Mm -hmm. You can never have too much vitality. And defense. Or defense. And Alphonse, you can suffer. You can't live without me anyway. This is also where I realized I had not yet shown the stuff we got off, like the Alchemy Brothers and whatnot, so this mm -hmm. was a good time to do so. Always deals 1 HP when you're attacking, reduces all types of damage by 5%. That's actually pretty good. It Increases regeneration speed of the alchemy gauge. That's okay, but eh, you don't really need it. Why would you ever... Point cost. Prevents Al from attacking on his own, but still allows for falling attacking. That is stupid. Why would you not want Al covering you? And then Rift Loin Cloth allows Al to dodge most enemies. I thought that actually sounded pretty good. No, it's crap. Don't bother. 
just, just don't. <clears throat> and then you have the guide things, which are pretty good too, as well as the lucky bag. Uh, so I just kind of play around with equipment here, but um, so while I'm messing with this stuff, I'll just tell you right now, the Rift Loin Cloth do not equip it because its description is an outright lie, because the way I perceived it is it makes Al more nimble, so he'll move out of the way of people attacking him, right? Mm-hmm. This is not true. What it actually translates to is Alphonse runs away from every enemy ever. That's actually what I assumed it meant. <laughs> so, so yeah, don't don't equip it. Just, just, just don't. Why would you even do that? Like, it's it's not like him surviving is a problem, and right. it's not even like him dying is a problem. So I equipped it with the misguided belief it would make him faster or something. Don't don't follow my example, kid. Don't don't do it. Ow! Another one. Thank you! Don't get lost in this hedge maze. It's very complicated. And that's Thanks. really only one way of it to go. And that is, you have a map. Pretty much. I don't know why they let you put a fire hydrant here, but sure, whatever. Oh hey, another crab, and it really oddly Stop. just yeah. But yeah, if you notice, Alphonse is just having none of this shit. He's just he's just like yeah, yeah, yeah you can take care of that. Fine. Same as a tiger or whatever it is. I don't. Oh, he's going after the clone that's over there. That's what it is. Oh, I was about four, to say, four. what is it doing? But no, it, it was trying to take a direct approach. What is this Christmas tree doing here? To become a crossbow. I mean, that's at least an interesting goal in life. Speaking of which, we're gonna need Alphonse's marksmanship skills. This is the one way around for the blowing cloth okay. thing, is if he's manning an arm with uh, like a, you know, a gun, then he'll fight. Mm -hmm. Otherwise hey. not. Thank you. God, I'll find <laughs> uh, the, Those balls just flying up in the air is just priceless. Okay. He's a really good shot. Seriously. And uh, that, that crab, I guess, is out of range. Here I try to be cheeky and drop a pillar on it, but it doesn't quite work. No. Not. Well, that's, it does do some good damage, that's though. That's quite a lot of damage, yes. I'm not gonna pogo the crab, I'm sorry. Well, this one is more way, left. This is way too unreliable. Sadly. And too... too small. <laughs> oh, the dumb AI. Ooh, a reloader. What is that? That reloads any weapon, such as a cannon, or whatnot. Ah. So, now I have a flaming claymore. This will help. Yeah, definitely, since the skill was going to break any moment. And then, uh, you can also make torches out of these things, which is literally just here. It'll slightly burn people who step on it. It's mainly meant to light oil cans up. Ah, that makes sense. Otherwise, it's kinda useless. Kind of pathetic. It, yeah, as you can see, so... Doesn't explode enough. Let's just get the real fiery weapon back, and head forward. I love how the the lighting effects are just drawn on a wall. Right. It's a, it's a mark of a, a mid to a early to mid PS2 game. <laughs> Alright, Alphonse, we need your marksmanship. Okay.
It's good that they can't use Thank those. You. Yeah. I mean, could you imagine if, uh, if a Chimera just alchemized a cannon for himself? That would kind of be inconvenient. No, I mean, like, if they, if you alchemized a, uh, a, a, a crossbow, and then they got up on it and started shooting you. <laughs> that would hurt. Thank that would be you. interesting. Thank you! Thank you! By the way, the guide I was following mentions here that you can alchemize a boomerang in this area that is a filthy buy. Not listen to it, kids. The only boomerang I, I recall being able to make is the one that we made in the opening area. Mm. That's an interesting place. And there's treasure strewn about, and then there's a really mean section here as well. Ah, I see there. Yeah. Sneaky sne did, did Al just try to yes. jump up there? Yes, he did. So, you have to climb up here, and then with a very low ceiling, you have to try and jump onto that plank right there. This can be tricky. Let, let Al do this. If only. Now. Position and done. So I just skip to the part where I finally get it. I was like, oh, oh. Must be careful. Because there's more. Must get stuff. Don't get fucked by the camera. Yeah. And then I accidentally pressed the wrong button, and yeah. Uh, but you found one more. Combo guide, which is the higher your combo is, the more EXP you get. So it's not bad. Hmm. Anyway. Back up here. Whip herb, and last but not least, a honeydew latte. Nah, no, it's not gonna herb. We get no plot. Unfortunately, we're gonna have to save downstairs for next time. Because this part has been long enough already. And here I think I can show off what the combo guide does. Yeah. See? Hmm. So it could be useful against those crabs. Yeah. So, till next time.